spoke to a guy who'd recently travelled in Australia and um, he was talking about men's shed, men sheds in Australia. I thought instantly this is a jolly good idea. Well I don't really want to go down the men's route but it would be nice to have somewhere in San Edwin where uh, we could do things, um, odd projects, meet other people and so forth that we didn't have to clean up after ourselves all the time. This project came along, this man shed, that is, as it was called in the beginning. And to be quite honest, I wasn't for it. I was not for it 100%. We've probably got the best knife, the best um, village hall in, in, in Gwyneth, I think. I can hardly wait, I know I won't be safe. I thought, how are we going to do this? And. Um, then thinking, well, where would we do it? Should we look for a building that we can rent and so forth? And then I thought, well, well we've got the space in the village hall, in the grounds, why don't we go for it here? who likes mending things and um, there's an awful lot of waste going on and we might I might be able to pass on a few hints and tips and help um, and save people money and give them a bit more confidence in looking after things. You know surprising in a place like this how much uh, you can do when you've got the right sort of people around you to be able to do it you know. Because as it happens with a team that's been building it up so many have special skills, which we didn't know with. Because before, you know, you take the turnings up there, Alan made them. Well, we never knew that he was so, well, I did, that he was so clever with his hands and making turned things. And it's been good for everybody that's come here, really, because we've all had different things we can do, haven't we? Yeah. You know, we've had um, some the ones that ain't been particularly practical. There's, there's still been lots of them to do, yeah. yeah. These, there were on stands in there, in the hall, so we were painting them then. I enjoyed it. I thought I felt I was doing something to help. Rosie's been making flapjacks, keep them going. I think every time I came here, I met somebody who I'd never seen before, you know. So uh, to me that was uh, really good at the time, you know, I, I, I enjoyed that. I mean, people who've never been on a roof sat up there, lovely Sunday afternoon, putting the shingles on, having chatting to two or three people. 
So I think the, the probably the biggest community thing was the day that we put up the arches. Yes. Oh, yeah. And everybody was here. That was that was when we actually lifted them up. Yeah. That was great. Everybody helped. I mean, these things were damn heavy. Yes. And they were put up by manpower. Sorry, by person power, actually. <laughs> it, was, it was a. The, the men and the women lifting them. That was quite good to get people who'd never been here interested. And also there was lots of food here, so that was quite quite an event really. There was it? lots of food. Wasn't lots there? and lots of food. Yeah. Sorts of soup, there were sandwiches and cakes and there was just about everything you could eat. Enough for everybody. I've stood side by side with, with people that I well I didn't know before. And you know, you were working and together doing things and your history was coming out and their history was coming out <laughs> you know we, we walk and talk but actually get it, when somebody gets hammered in the hand <laughs> it's likely to turn out something different you know supposedly when two ladies or more than two ladies have problems they talk to each other men don't See. They bottle it up. You know, it's important to talk these things. You know, I, I, I've sort of been left left on my own for a couple of years, three years now. So it was a nice idea for me to uh, to do something like this. It's more than just sitting around for a cup of coffee. Mm. That, that's included. And flat drink. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so it's more than that. My husband has Parkinson's and dementia. Right. So, which means he can't be left for very long. He has been able to paint and things, so it feels useful because he's at the stage where he knows he's got dementia, but he's very much aware of what he can't do anymore, which is the hard part, really. If it helps people, people on their own, um, gives them somewhere to go, some reason to go, and, it, and certainly once you get some little project that's ongoing, it just builds that sort of communal habit, I think. Mean. Mm. Go and see what's going on. Mm. If anybody's got any problems that are worrying them in any, in any way, it could come out here without thinking and people will help each other, isn't it? Expected to sort of grow organically. So that it yeah. can do nothing but make this community stronger. Co working with others to build it, it's been amazing. The sort of folk who live in this area are more doers than mm. sit at home people. I've learnt a lot, definitely, yes, yes, yes. Very superior shed, really. I should have said that. I should have said that. When I leave this town, I'm going to bid you. Farewell. When I leave this town, I'm gonna bid you farewell.